Hey everybody, and welcome to episode 154 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam Laring, coming to you. A uh, couple things before we get started. Today we are going to be covering the multi-block module. Uh, pretty easy module, but actually kind of a helpful module, especially if you are a beginner user and not as uh, familiar or comfortable with using code. Um, nice little module that extends some of the Drupal block functionality. Um, but before we jump into that module, I just want to quickly mention a few things. Uh, head over to CodeKarate.com and make sure to sign up for our newsletter there. I'm sending out typically once a month, a couple times, maybe twice a month, um, updates on either our posts or happenings in the Drupal community, stuff like that. Um, nothing too crazy, but just a nice way to stay informed. Um, also, if you're on the social networks, especially Twitter, make sure to head over and follow us both. You can follow myself at Adam Laring on Twitter, or you can follow Shane at SMThomas3. Um, either will be good. Shane's probably touch better since he uh, tweets a lot more often than me. All right, anyway, um, anything else about tidying up? I think that's it. So anyway, let's get started with the multi-block module. Again, the multi-block module, like I said, is just an extension of the block functionality on Drupal core. Um, but uh, as the ability for you to use the same block or multi-block uh, multiple places on your site. And I'll show you a couple use cases for that here shortly. Um, one thing to note is there is not a recommended release for the multi-block for Drupal 7, which is what I'll be using. But um, the 7.11 uh, version seems to work just fine. Um, so go ahead and you can download that on the Drupal.org site. So once you get that installed, we can head over to our site and we'll uh, enable our multi-block module. Turn that on. No other modules or anything else are required for this, so you, it's all you'll need to do. So once you get it turned on, head on over to Structure, Blocks, Instances. If you don't have this admin menu installed, which is what you're seeing on my screen, um, you simply go to Structure, click Blocks, and then there'll be a tab here on the top called Instances. So let's go ahead and click that. So in here, you can do a couple things. You give it a title, and then you select the block that you want to clone, essentially. So in this sense, um, I'm first going to actually switch back and head to creating a block, so I can show you how this works. So we're just going to add a block. And we're going to give it a simple name here. Hello world. And then we're going to set this in our sidebar first, or our left sidebar. And we're just going to list it on every page. So once you save that, it's simple. This is obviously basic Drupal stuff here, but I'll just show you how this block will appear by default. So if we actually go look at our site here, you'll see it's right here in the corner it says welcome to Code Karate so that's the block that we just created but now let's say we actually want that exact same block also to appear in the footer um, so that's where this multi-block module comes in in this instance thing we were speaking of so if we go to go to structure blocks and click instances let's give it a title obviously I recommend using a separate title so you can tell the difference we're just going to do hello world 2 and then select the block that you want to have a multi-block or clone. So I'm going to select that Hello World block I just created. Save this instance. Okay, so we have our instance created our hello world block so if we go to go to start or back to our block um, layouts we can see that now I see a hello world 2 here which is a direct clone of this hello world right here so I'm just gonna set this hello world 2 in my footer first column and go ahead and save that 
And then you'll see here once the page saves, reloads, you'll see I now have a second block that is a direct clone of my first block. So hello code credit here, hello code credit there. One thing to note is actually if I configure and change this block, so say I wanted to add a, some exclamation points and save it, it is a direct clone of the block. So whatever I change in the master block will be reflect automatically in the second block. So you don't have to change it in two places and they're tied together. Obviously in this case, is that the case I showed you is not as useful as some other cases. One very interesting one would be using a newsletter block, um, whether you're using a MailChimp or Aweber or your choice of them. Um, they typically come with one block. Um, so say you want to have it on your sign up form on your left hand side block on the front page, but on every other page you want to have a newsletter block also appearing in the footer. Well, the multi-block module is going to allow you to do that. Um, you can set different visibility rules um, or you can also just set it in different regions based on the visibility rules or pages. So that's kind of a really good use case and one that we've used in the past um, for that. Of course, there are other options to pull all this off. You could use panels, um, Drupal panels, which I a little bit, there's videos on that on Code Karate. I'd recommend you would check those out first. Um, but like I said, the multi-block module is a really simple, um, no code needed option to display multiple blocks in different um, areas without having to uh, duplicate the exact same content. All right, guys. Before we head out, I just want to again mention um, CodeCrowdy.com. You know, we're hosting a bunch of videos there. Obviously, 154 at this point, as well as some other blog posts. Um, check out the newsletter. Appreciate anybody signing up. We really appreciate the commitment there. And also, we've been saying this, and it is coming. We are working very. We're getting very close to producing our first ever ebook, um, the Five Secrets to Becoming a Drupal Seven Ninja. So make sure to uh, keep that in mind. Um, setting up the newsletter will get you first dibs at that as well. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you later.